Hello everyone, my name is Marcus and welcome to the third part of the Game Maker AI tutorial series. Um, the, in the last video we were making these two functions. Um, they are for the calculate input function that uses it for calculating the fitness of the of going left or right. So now we're going to make the, the part in which the enemy is above the player. If the enemy is above the player, we want to set this variable above, above, above equals to true. And then we want to do the same, but instead of jump sides, we are going to create another script. Just now, let me left fit equals and bar right fit equals. And then I'm, we're going to use also the use fit function with the left fit and the right fit. Uh, I'm going to create the script, create script, and and instead of jump size, I'm going to call it fall size, because it's going to check instead of where to jump, it's going to check where to fall to, um, and it's going to also check if it falls where the falling brings it nearer or, or closest to the player so in order to check that um, what we're going to do is to create a function with the description description full sides with the arguments x sum and y sum the add function all sides the param x sum and I'm just going to copy it and paste it and change it to y okay so now I'm going to create a couple variables called sum and I'm going to give it the argument 0 and another variable called y sum because the y sum was already in use, so I decided not to use it again, and I did another name. Just put in an, a random name. You're not going to use it in, in other scripts, so put whatever. So argument one for that, and I'm going to create another one called so. That's that's the uh, same variable we did in the jump sides. So that it's kind of a counter and we're going to do the same while loop place meeting while uh, while in the floor that's what we're going to check now while x plus sa uh, comma y plus one so it checks if it's colliding with the floor if it's already uh, I mean uh, jet in the floor so obj is solid while it's in the floor, if the absolute value of the x plus sa minus the room width, I already explained it. I explained this in the last video, so I'm not going to explain it now because it's a mind blow. So just bear with me. And uh, bigger than the room width. Okay, so if this is the case we want to return minus one because it, it gives an error it well I already explained this so uh, if this isn't the case we want to do so plus equals sum now we're going to create another variable called a random name I already said it you can write whatever name you want I'm going to name it y sum why not? It's a local variable, so it doesn't matter. Um, and I'm going to do the same, but the other way around. While not place meeting in the x plus sa plus sign of uh, sa, because I remember you that uh, this sum can be negative. So this sign gives, gives it if it's negative or positive. So I'm going to m multiply this 
this this uh, sign times five. So now what I, what I have is a kind of a margin to actuate, and instead of y plus one, I want to give it plus y uh, y plus y sum and OVA solid, and I want to check if the absolute value of the y plus the y sum minus the room room height is more than the room height then return minus one and I want to say y sum plus equals y sub okay so what we're do doing here is checking if there is not a floor if we're falling and if while we're falling we're uh, mm, passing the value I mean if we're the, 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 the value of the counter is bigger than the height of the room then it's going to give it an error and what we want to return is the same as in the jump size so I'm going to copy it not the same but so uh, instead of plus so plus sign of this margin we did earlier and y plus y sum and the obj player x and the obj player y so now we've we've got that we we're, i'm going to save it and i'm going to go back to this script the main one and i'm going to use these functions which values do i need to use as arguments i'm going to use the false sides that's the function we made just now and the x sum and the y sum that's it and as you have probably noticed the right is always positive and the left is always negative that makes sense I hope so now if uh, the enemy is not below nor above the player it's in the same height uh, in the same y position so what we're going to do in the horizontal movement is just checking that uh, the AI wants to go left that's equals to the obj player dot x being less than the, X, the AI's x if go left then the right is equals to zero and the left is equals to minus one else it wants to go right so right equals to one and left equals to zero now we've finished this conditional and now we'll, we're going to make another conditional for the big one for this main one I'm going to say else if um, and now I have to create another function I'm going to if you've ever used or seen any of our videos about Unreal Engine you probably know a function called line trace by channel so I'm going to make a similar function called line trace and what it's going to be used for is to trace like a line between um, the AI and the and the um, I'm sorry and the player and see if there's something in between so I'm going to add a description because we have to pass an argument uh, add description description line trace obj add a function line trace and at uh, param obj so now I'm going to create a variable called t and it's going to be the argument 0 and I'm going to return um, with a function game maker has 
that's called not instance exists. This is not the function <laughs> I was talking about. Uh, instance ex exists. Um, collision. I'm going to explain this now. Don't worry. Collision line x comma y comma t dot x comma t dot y comma obj solid comma false comma true. But Marcus, what is this? Okay, so this function I'm selecting here returns a kind of an array of objects colliding with the line we've just traced between the AI's position and the object object's position and it's only returning those objects that are uh, from the OBJ solid and these are some uh, values for example not collide with itself and this I don't remember what it, what it is for um, and so as it is an array of objects if not none of these objects exists it means uh, there's nothing in between so we want to say true if there's something in between and false if it, if there's not something in between and so we give it a not we save and we use that variable here if line I'm sorry the reference pretty important if line trace between the AI and X comma y uh, I'm sorry <laughs> obj player and the absolute value of the obj player dot uh, x minus the ai's x is bigger is less than I'm sorry the double the width and height of the obj solid that's 64 remember remember this pride of the obj solid is 32 by 32 so double this and what we're going to do now is to say if it can move or not so in order to do that x move is equals to false or zero well zero because we're going to multiply this value by the speed so if it's zero the speed won't change so now we finished our conditional now we're going to do another one but uh, that's for jumping so it's a little bit easier if there's not something if there's something I'm sorry uh, in the X comma Y plus one position if there's floor uh, underneath the, the AI and there's not floor free um, in the x plus x speed uh, comma y plus one if there's if there's not floor underneath the player and there's floor I mean uh, the other way around if there's floor underneath the player but there's no floor in front of the player and oops, the obj player dot y is less than or equal to the y of the ai then what we're going to do is to jump so jump equals to minus one remember it has it, ha it has to be negative and else if not place free Um, in the x plus margin and y then we want to jump but we don't want this means uh, there's there's uh, a wall in front so we want to jump but we don't want to move so the x move wants to be zero because if we move we're going to hit the wall before going up before jumping all the way to the top so instead of that we just don't move in the x uh, axis we jump and then we move so uh, else if 
not place free x plus margin and y why I did that I'm not sure well just going to leave it like that I think it I bueno esta parte la voy a cortar es que no lo sé 15.30 15.30, ¿dónde está el boli, tío? No tengo boli <laughs> So, this is uh, the final step before doing the OBJ AI or the OBJ enemy So I hope you enjoyed this and you learned something new and that you stay with us <coughs> I'm sorry, to, until the next video because in the next video we're going to be doing this object enemy that you wish and cut See you in the next one. Goodbye.